Hey guys, and welcome back to Rip to Crazy. Now, this is a video I thought needed to be made at this moment because of all the mass hysteria buyers who are buying up literally everything. So, us reptile owners are like, oh my god, how am I going to take care of my reptiles, you know? So, I thought I'd make a video letting you guys know how you need to get through this crazy crisis without your reptile suffering. First and foremost, you're going to want to have a two-week supply at a time. Now, it's hard to do that with greens, right? Well, there are some storage bins that I'm actually going to insert up here uh, that actually last for two weeks that you can buy. They are vacuum sealed. They're on Amazon, and if I'm not mistaken, it's like 10 bucks for like three of them. Get those. And I just also found out that Amazon is not shipping to UK until April 5th, so that's just a little info for you guys, in case you weren't aware. Uh, but, definitely try to get you a vacuum sealed vegetable storage container for your veggies at this moment. That's going to help you be able to get a two-week supply and your veggies not go bad before that time. Because as we all know, veggies like to go bad within about three or four days. Now, the way I do mine is I chop mine up and then I put them into storage. In a storage bin. I even use coffee <laughs> containers. Those last pretty long time. And they last for a good week. But with these that you can get off Amazon, which I'm ordering myself, uh, they can last up to two weeks, which is what we need. So, make sure you have enough supplies, and I'm talking everything that your reptiles are going to need, including bottled water and everything, for two weeks. And we're going to talk about those supplies right here in a moment. But, um, a lot of supplies are the important thing, meaning you're not going to be able to leave your home or anything unless it's a, a case of an emergency for however long the quarantine lasts. So, we need to be prepared for this. There's already a state of emergency issued. The next step is martial law, guys. And this is not something we want to happen. Hopefully, this is not something that will happen. I'm not trying to scare you guys. I just want you guys to be prepared. Be prepared for the worst is the best way to do it. Alright, so let's start with greens. Like I said, you're going to want to have a two-week supply of your greens. Um, I have found the best place to buy my greens is either at a farmer's mar market, which is hard to find right now because most states are still in wintertime and still pretty good. Um, or Walmart has really good deals on greens and so does Kroger's. Um, now the greens that last the longest, I have found that bok choy lasts a pretty good long time. And so does your collard turnip. Um, all of those greens, they last a pretty good long time. And you can also get some squash. Now, that lasts, you know, it, it's pretty good. You know, you, if you don't chop it up, it's going to last you um, a good week and a half not chopped up. And then chop it up, it's going to last you, you know, longer. So, um, if you can buy whole vegetables, those are going to last you longer. Um, now, once you get your greens, you're going to want to chop them up, and you're going to want to put them in a storage container, a vacuum-sealed storage container, because if you have that air in there, that's going to allow them to go bad. Um, and just remember that the more moisture you have in there, you know, they're going to get soggy and gross, so try to get that moisture out of there using a sifter or colander or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then put them in your container. Um... I'm sure Ziploc has some good containers as well, um, but you're going to want to put them in your container and put them in your fridge. Um, next thing we'll talk about is feeders. Now, we do have some approved vendors in our Facebook group that sell feeders, and that's UK and US. We have a US vendor and a UK vendor. Now... Um, I know dubbyroaches.com, I know they are a little behind on shipping their feeders due to everybody buying a lot here recently. So, my suggestion is to buy a month worth of, feed, worth of feeders. Um, this is going to get you, and start your own colonies. Now, the feeders that I recommend, recommend buying are the ones that are low maintenance, 
like your super worms um and your doobie roaches are pretty low maintenance um i would not recommend crickets and um, you're going to want to buy something that don't require a lot of care or anything like that and crickets are just um mealworms and which this is only for some reptiles that are allowed mealworms those are good to get um they last a pretty long time they don't really need any special requirements um now i'm going to be doing how to breed superworms newbies all that over the next few days that way you guys know but start your own colonies guys that way you are prepared for the worst um superworms do take quite a while to breed and so do mealworms um so i would start those right away newbies don't take as long but they don't mass produce um so you're gonna have to buy quite a bit to start your colonies um i would start with around 60 adults um you're gonna want more females than you have males you're gonna want more kind of like a five to one ratio five females for every male all right um <laughs> The only thing about doobie roaches breeding them is that you do need certain supplies like a heat pad and they do require a bit of moisture um the humidity needs to be up a little in other words now with seahorse they really don't require a lot um i actually started a breeding video on superworms you guys can go check that out if you'd like to you okay all right um, I will also want to say that I think Superworms is going to be, now you guys could go to uh, jerseyworms.com and get a thousand Superworms for, um, I believe I paid $25, $30 for a thousand Superworms. You can also get those off of Amazon if you're not in the UK. Like I said, Amazon's not shipping to UK right now until April 5th. So, um, I mean, they're cheap. And they're convenient and they're easy to care for. Um, so that would be, I know a lot of people don't like super worms. They don't, they say the exoskeleton is hard to break down. Um, in the stomach, I've never had a problem with them. But if you do um, not like to feed super worms, then I would go for doobie roaches. Um, you can get those off of Amazon for triple A feeders. You can get a thousand smalls for uh 45 dollars um now we also like i was saying earlier we have vendors for the uk and the us that will be there for your bug needs we have linda her website is linda's gone buggy .com. you can also look her up on facebook and linda busima um i'm sorry linda that's not how you say your last name but i'm pretty sure it is um and I also believe she has a Facebook page, um, Linda's Gone Buggy. And then for our UK members is Dubia Paul. Um, you can look him up on Facebook um, or our group. He is on there. Um, and he will help you with all of your feeder needs. And they are both very, very helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, they're more than happy to help you with anything that you need. Um, they have awesome feeders that are gut loaded with amazing nutrients for your reptiles so i i, I highly recommend both linda and dubia paul all right guys so we got our feeders now let's talk about our supplies such as calcium multivitamin lot etc so the place i recommend you buying your heat lights is at Dollar Tree. Now you can get the floodlights at the Dollar Tree, not the LED, the regular incandescent floodlights for one dollar. One dollar. I said it right. Yeah, one dollar. So go there and stock up on your lights. Buy as many as you can. Um, especially if you have a lot of reptiles. Now, I'm really can't tell you where the cheapest place to buy your UVB lights are. I do get mine from Amazon, but UVB are pretty expensive either way you go. The best way to buy them is bulk because the more you buy, um, the better deal you get. 
but I would recommend at least having one extra UVB light for every reptile that you have. If you can, have two extra. I would also recommend having one extra um, UVB fixture, which you can get an awesome deal on your fixtures at Walmart. Just buy the black light fixtures for, I think it's like $8.95. Um, and they work great. They're 24 inches long. They hold the T8, if I'm not mistaken, lots. Um, that's where I got a couple of mine from. You can also get the under the shelf lots off of Amazon. Those are a fifteen dollars, but you also you have to wire those up yourself. So if you don't have someone who can do that for you, then I would not recommend getting those. Now you can get your heat light fixtures off of Amazon. You can get the ones with the dimmer for five dollars a fixture. So you want I recommend having one extra for every reptile because you never know what's gonna happen. I also recommend for situations where we don't have reps, um, where we don't have electricity, we need hand warmers. You're going to need. You can get a portable. Um, this these you can actually rent off your car. Um, let me think of what they're called. I just had a brain fart. Um, they're called mini generators. Um, these will run your lights for your reptiles in extreme cases where we don't have electricity. Now, these I recommend having, and guys, this stuff also, um, I recommend having for just emergencies. Like, if you're in a flood zone, or tornado zone, or hurricane zone, you want to have these supplies for just things like that as well. Not only the coronavirus crisis that's going on right now. Um, you're going, but you're going to want to make sure you have a bag packed for any kind of evacuation that could, could, I'm saying could, not saying that is, but that could happen for your reptiles with everything they need, such as medicines, calciums, vitamins, feeders, all that stuff. Um, and ready to go. You want to have it packed and ready to go. You're going to want to have a way to store your reptiles. And here's what I recommend. It's not ideal. But you can get the long storage containers that have three to four shelves in them at Walmart or the Dollar General for $15. Now, I know that they're not big enough and at the ideal size for your bearded dragon. But it's better than a shoebox. That a lot of people recommend. Um, and these can also suffice as storage for your stuff until this happens. So, I also re I recommend you'll get those storage and make sure that you have one, not one storage shelf for every reptile, but make sure you have enough drawers for every reptile that you have. Now, if you have like a chameleon, an arboreal reptile that needs to climb upward, you can get the deep ones. Instead, that way you can put them some leaves and stuff in there and branches. Now, it's not as high as we'd like it again, but for an emergency, it will suffice. Okay, we've got lighting. We have got, let's talk about um, stocking up on medicines, calciums, multivitamins. Now, my favorite place to go for these types of things is Amazon. They have awesome prices on all of this stuff. Um, what you're going to want to do is research basically, and I actually have a video on my reptile first aid kit. So go check that out and see what you're going to need for your basic reptile first aid kit. Um, but you're going to want to have all of that with you. You're going to want to have a stock of calcium. So you're going to want to have a stock of multivitamins. And, you know, you can get a lot of this on Amazon for under a dollar. And that's not even exaggerating. I think I paid 76 cents for my calcium. And it's a pretty good size bottle. Um, the most I've paid on there is $2. Um, but you can look that up on Amazon. Um, you can also get your bean back on there. You get a big old thing of it for like five bucks. 
Um, just so much stuff you can get on there. Your Minoka Honey, you can get that on there. Um, a lot of your medicines you can get on there. And if you can't find that, um, what you need, you can contact our vendor, Tracy Kretschmar, uh, for medical supplies. And she will hook you up for anything else that you may need. I would recommend having um, a medicine that helps with parasites or worms. Just in case that situation may arise. And there's not a vet that you can get to. Um, I recommend also talking to your vet. And asking them what they're going to be doing in this state of emergency. If they're still going to be open. What hours they're going to be open. Um, what you should do in case of emergency with your reptile. If they maybe could give you their number. So that you may call them with any questions you may have. If a situation may arise. Alright. Other than supplies. Let's see. What else do we need to go over? Water. A lot of our reptiles need daily water. Now, your bearded dragons don't need so much. But your um, water dragons, your chameleons, your leopard, crested geckos, and many more need daily water and moisture. So, I recommend stocking up on the water, guys. I mean, bottled water, baby water, any water you can get. Just stock up as much as you can get. Now, here's my thing. I don't agree with these mass buyers that are going around and buying every daggone thing in the world. And then you have senior citizens who are on a fixed income. You have low-income families who can't go out and buy these things like this. And then when they do have the money to go out and get what they need, nothing's there. I don't agree with that. Don't be greedy. Two weeks supply. One month supply at the most, guys. Don't be greedy. Have, compa have compassion for your fellow human beings. Think of others. Don't only think of yourself during this crisis. I believe that we have covered most everything that you should know. Um, if you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to comment below and ask your questions. Maybe you want to add something that I have missed. That would be awesome. Just comment that below. Make sure you head over to our Facebook group and join that group. We've got the awesome giveaway that's going on. I posted a video about that last night. Uh, make sure you join us on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. All of our names are going to be posted down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>